Effort to increase safety for Decatur residents is getting mixed reviews tonight. More than two dozen security cameras will be installed in downtown Decatur and in the surrounding parks. Atlanta News First reporter Yasmina Alston, she's live tonight in McCoy Park. And Yasmina, the cameras, they come after a rash of crime in that area. Tracy, that's right. Graffiti and vandalism in parks, a lot like what you see here at McCoy Park. And the police department says that having these security cameras can help them in solving some of those crimes. Well, some people say the cameras are necessary, while others say they are not. We love this park. It's a walk in the park for Mary Carroll, who enjoys her outings at McCoy Park in Decatur. Yeah, every day with my dog and my daughter. And she's not the only one who spent a wet Wednesday walking. Kate Freeman says it's a fun but also safe space for her family. But generally pretty safe. I've never had a shoe. But the occasional vandalism and graffiti at this park and others were part of the reason for new security cameras. The City of Decatur Commission approved 27 of them to go in several parks, including McCoy, Glen Lake, Legacy, Oakhurst, Scott Park, and Epster Park. There, there's definitely time and place for cameras. If there's definitely riffraff, then I see why not. According to the police department, the idea behind the cameras is to use the footage as a tool in solving crimes. Several security cameras will also be installed in Decatur's downtown district for the same reason. I think if we take care of each other and communicate more, the whole community as a whole can prosper. And our security cameras a part of that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I would feel safer knowing that they're there, but I think for me, and if a camera's there and something happens, if there's no action taking place, then I feel like we're not using our money wisely. Some question the need for cameras, including Commissioner Lisa Mayer, who points out during the recent meeting, the parks are in historically black communities, possibly sending the wrong message. We have to make sure that when we're talking about putting cameras that'll be monitored in communities that were that are still, you know, predominantly people of color, like Epster, like near McCoy, that we're really thinking about what those future implications could be and what we're really saying when we do that. And those cameras won't be constantly monitored and there will be a policy saying who can view that footage and when it can be viewed, which does address some of those concerns. Live Indicator, Yasmina Alston, Atlanta News First.